Hello everyone, greetings from Serpent Consulting Services. Today in this video, we are going to present our asset management mobile application. Asset is a very critical thing things in uh, any organization and managing asset, whichever is your own asset or rental asset, whatever asset it is, they are lying on the different location, department, if you have multiple branch, all assets are lying on different branch locations as well. So to manage assets, uh, tracking the consortium of the asset and then uh, auditing asset periodically is a very critical things. So here we are come up with a mobile application which will be fully uh, barcode and QR code based to scan your asset, track asset based on the location and using the mobile you can register your asset with your latitude and longitude. So our mobile application has a following feature. You can add any new assets in the organization and set it on the particular location with let long uh, taken from your mobile uh, location services. You can list out all the asset. You can transfer asset internally in the department to department or uh, if it's a rental asset, you can take it uh, inside outside the organization, multiple location wise transfer all those kind of transfers will be possible. Then you can have a complete transfer history about all the assets. You can do periodical uh, asset auditing on different location. It means if I am going to audit one particular building department or location, I can just scan all my asset and then find the uh, report of my complete asset auditing, whichever assets are uh, missing, which are the extra assets lying on the location which is not in the system and periodically you can readjust your asset and then you can have your all audit reports and uh, the complete history of the audits. Let's see how uh, asset management works. Here you can see add assets. As soon as I go to my add asset screen, I can just add any new asset here. I can just take my asset uh, screenshot and then I put the serial number which will be my unique QR code and then all the assets in the system will be uh, appearing here. There are few additional information on the asset, which model, what is the asset condition, uh, which brand it is, your purchase information from your uh, different uh, vendors or whatever uh, details about the purchase of your assets the financial information like what is the capital value what is the scrap value residual value after the depreciation and capitalization date and end of the life for the asset then the complete asset transfer history will be there like who was the consort custodian of the asset and then uh, whenever you move the asset from one location to another location you have the complete traceability based on the dates then allotted information like what was the source condition and remark and whenever you move the asset from one location to another you can have a different details about the asset apart from this the asset description the map based on the let long you can see the latitude and longitude information which is coming from the mobile application the depreciation which is a default ODU feature you can have a different type of linear or degressive depreciation methodologies on the asset and then uh, depreciation information will be there what kind of depreciation what will be the duration how in what internal we want to depreciate the asset and all the details and then the asset disposal uh, details let's see on the asset history you will find out all the assets and on the top you can see the QR code scanning where you can scan the QR code. Let's scan the QR code for asset number one. So this is my QR code. I will be scanning the code here. And as soon as I scan, I will be able to open the assets and then in which location this asset is lying. By clicking here, I can just immediately see the email as well, uh, the location as well, sorry, for uh, the particular asset, like where this asset is lying right now. And then uh, there will be a different status of the asset, whether uh, my asset is on draft state, it is in stock or in use, if it is uh, used by someone, then all the details of the asset will be here. So whenever you do the asset auditing, you can just go to the asset audit and then uh, you start your auditing and then you keep scanning all the asset of the location and then complete asset audit generate here. 
so this is the complete asset audits uh, here where you can see different asset details whether it's transfer loss or all the missing assets so when you start audit between two dates who or who is the responsible for the audit and then the whole details will be here so during the audit you will just uh, uh, scan different assets and then manage uh, all the assets and then after end of the audit you close the audit so your manager will verify and then do the processing of the audit here then we have a asset scanning feature where you can scan any assets lying in your department and then you can just see all the detail about the asset transfer asset details uh, asset transfer by whom which assets we are transferring so i transfer number one this is computer transfer type there will be different transfer types that you can configure here on the transfer types whether it's a department wise transfer branch wise or internal transfer so i will say this is internal transfer what is the transfer date let's set a two days date reason for transfer is a demo project transfer here and internal notes notes goes here and then i will just validate okay so i have to put my location information because it's an internal transfer i will transfer from sarja office to qatar branch here and we will select destination condition custodian is a uh, auditor other information about the assets and then i will click you want to transfer yes so as soon as i make transfer we can see the sarja to qatar transfer details will be here you can see here we have a sarja office transfer is already generated here on the asset transfer history so you can see the list of asset transfer here as well you can see the today's date the current transfer date and then the details about the internal transfer on particular date 29th august and sarja office to qatar auditor is the custodian new custodian of uh, the asset previous custodian was administrator so who is the user and custodian of the things so after this your manager submit and approve this transfer means in the system this transfer is been done so this is how you can generate a transfer using the mobile application you can see after audit you can see the history of the loss assets and all these loss assets you can list out here you can uh, print any particular uh, asset qr code barcode and then the whole uh, asset history as well from the asset code let's go here let me scan the asset as soon as i click the asset on the top you can see the pdf report this PDF report will give you the complete details about the asset in the PDF form. You can directly print this report from the mobile using your Bluetooth printer or wireless printer. And then you can get this signed by your manager uh, after the asset audits. Same way we have a complete audit report of the asset is there as well. So if I will go back and then we go to print audit reports, you can just put the audit details and then print your whole audit report as well so this is how the overall uh, asset management will work the same backend details are there with the asset asset auditing and all the details will be here you can see the details here and then you can do whatever operation you wish asset transfer where you can see all the asset transfer details and then with the serial number and qr code it will make your life easy for managing your assets using the mobile application if you have uh, similar issues with your organization where you are into the construction industry you are a large organization with lots of asset you are managing some of your assets you took on rental and then you have your own assets if you are into service industry you have hundreds of people working with you and or you are allocating assets like systems laptops mobiles to uh, your manpower this mobile application of asset management will be very useful and it will keep your asset updated on your system 
If you need similar solutions or consulting, you can always reach us on contact at serpentcs.com. We will be happy to assist you. Thank you. Thank you.